So look who uh, dropped by to talk a little hockey. Rand Pecknold, head hockey coach at Quinnipiac University. All the, uh, most of the teams, except for the top four, playing in the ECAC uh, tournament playoffs right now. You're getting to sit back and enjoy things. You earned that. Yep. Yeah, I got a little bye, get a little healthy, and uh, we have to wait probably until probably Sunday night to see who we're going to play next week. Rand, I know uh, talking to you earlier in the year, you, the team was young. You thought you'd be good later in the year. Have, have they kind of grown the way you thought and the way you had hoped? Uh, yeah, we were well. Actually, we're, we're much better than I thought we'd be this year. You know, okay. I was I was hoping that maybe we could squeak in that that four slot and, you know, maybe four, five, six in the league. But um, you know, things just went our way, and, and some guys kind of blossomed for us. And uh, and my uh, my high end guys uh, played really well. Twenty one years on the job uh, at Quinnipiac. You know, when you first started here years and years ago, did you ever think? you would build this into a Division One national power, if you will. Uh, no, not, not in year one. No, I mean, we were practicing at midnight at Hamden High School. And, <laughs> uh, we, we've, uh, we've come a lot. We were Division Three then. Like, we've, we've come, uh, you know, you can't even kind of quantify how far we've come. But it's, uh, it's been great. I mean, I think once we built that rink, uh, which uh, President Leahy and, our, and all our supporters did the right thing. We built it right. You know, it's one of the best rinks in college hockey. Then I knew, you know, we're in the ECAC with, you know, Harvard, Princeton, Yale, and St. Lawrence, et cetera. Like, I'm like, we can, we can be a national power once we got that rink. Do you ever, you know, when you're in the moment, you don't realize what you're accomplishing, what you're doing, but do you ever step back and say, wow, we were here and now we're here and take in what it took to get there? Um, yeah, a little bit. I mean, I, th I think sometimes when I... When we have like alumni games or something like that, I'll have guys from, you know, my first year or two. So like Bobby Lucarelli was my first captain, and our, our sons play hockey together. So I see him all the time, and we'll bring it up every now and again. And it's, you know, it's just amazing. I mean, those guys that played on those early teams for me know how far how far we've come. When you look at the Division One teams in the state, there, there's you, there's Yale, there's UConn, and Sacred Heart. Um, you know, Boston has the bean pot year in and year out. We, we've met, talked about this before. Do you think Connecticut will ever see something like that, where the four? D1 teams can get together and kind of do something like they do up in Boston? I think it'd be great. I'd, I'd love, we'd love to make it happen. It just, there's always seems to be stumbling blocks with, uh, with scheduling and, and, where do you, and, and where do you have it, who's going to host, do you rotate it. Um, but I think long term, I think eventually like, we, we probably will get something like that. Let's talk a little about the uh, ECAC tournament coming up for you guys. The championship games up in, uh, up in Lake Placid. Correct. Obviously, that's where you'd like to be. Right. How much attention do you pay to this as opposed to the, the, the NCAA tournament, which will come right after? Uh, well, everything, I mean, everything we do, all our regular season games, all our playoff games, factor into us making the NCAA tournament. So everything's kind of combined um, for us. Or me as a coaching, as a coach and our co coaching staff, I think we just focus. You know, simple. Like, what's the next game? Like we can only you can only take yeah, tackle one at a time. So, you know, that's really what we're gonna do. We don't even know who our next opponent's gonna be. We have to wait and let things sort itself out. Um, but it is it is really imperative for us to keep winning games so that we can we can make the NCAA tournament. If it ended, if the season ended today, we're in. Yep. We, we would make the tournament. Yep. Um, but we still got to get a couple more wins here. To, to do you think if you lost that first game in the ECAC tournament, you wouldn't be in? Um, no, I think we still would have a chance, but I don't like why I leave anything up for you know. Like, <laughs> just went out. Just we we got to win some games. We got to yeah. you know because it, it's not everything that we do. It's also what other teams do around yeah. us. You, know? you got to the national championship game a couple of years ago. Everyone, of course, now wants you to get back there each right. and every year. Do, do you think one day you'll get this program back there? Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, you know, the the hardest thing is is qualifying for the. It's really hard to make the NCAA tournament. They only take sixteen teams, but once you get in, if you, if you know if your goalie gets hot and you get a couple bounces. Um, you know, it's it's not that hard to get to the Frozen Four. I, I know I know it is hard, but it's you know you, you get a you get a couple good good games and you're in. Um, so it's something we certainly want to want to want to get back to. Um, you know, is this the year? Maybe. Well, listen. Best of luck to you. You got the ECAC tournament coming up, and then uh, after that, I'm pretty confident about the NCAA tournament. Who knows? Maybe we'll see you again up in Boston. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate. Yeah, it. Yeah. Thanks for coming in, Coach. We'll be back thank with you. more.